Hi, I didn't expect to see you here so soon. Are you still having problems with your computer? There's still no display. Are the lights on but nobody's home? Well, it looks like your PC is not posting. Welcome to our troubleshooting series. We'll get that fixed right up for you. Power on self-test or post is a check that your motherboard does with each major component every time you turn your system on. And just like my last relationship, if the components aren't talking to each other, it's not gonna work out. Most motherboards have a series of labeled indicator lights, which will turn on for a few seconds during boot up, then turn off when post is finished. If something is not passing post, the lights will stay on. These lights will show you which component is having an issue. If the DRAM light is on or both the DRAM and CPU lights are on, it's not reading the memory modules. Turn the system off and disconnect your main power. Carefully remove and reseat the RAM just in case it was dislodged during shipping. When you are installing the memory modules, it is very important that you align them perfectly with their slots. If the BGA light stays on, then it's not properly communicating with the GPU. Check the power connection to the graphics card and make sure it's plugged in properly. If that doesn't work, proceed to reseating your graphics card as the next step. Remove the PCIe power cable that goes directly into the graphics card. Carefully remove the screws that secures the graphics card to your case. Don't forget to disengage the PCIe retention clips before removing the GPU. Failure to do so might result in damage to your PCIe connector. Follow the steps in reverse to get the graphics card installed back in your system. If reseating the GPU does not work, you can try to install the graphics card onto another PCIe slot to check for functionality. If that does not work, you can try to reset your BIOS. These can be performed in two different ways. First is to remove the coin type battery that's on your motherboard. It's as simple as releasing the retaining clip and removing the battery from the holder. Wait about 10 seconds before reinstalling the battery onto the motherboard. The other method is to short the two pins found on your motherboard labeled CLR CMOS or CLRTC. Use a metal object to connect these two pins together for about 10 seconds. In this case, we are using a screwdriver to short the connection. If you perform the BIOS reset, please be patient once you power on your system. It may take a couple of minutes and a couple of restarts for it to complete the initial boot up. Hopefully we were able to correct your post issues. If your system has misbehaving components, if these steps did not work for you, or you just need help performing these troubleshooting steps, please get in touch with our customer service. We are open Mondays to Fridays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thanks for watching our video, and please don't take this the wrong way, but I really do hope you don't have to see my face again.